My, my name is Dr. Damba Bani Himaya, a research scientist with the National Series Research Institute in Nigeria. Uh, I'm the focal point for the processing and value addition tax force in Nigeria. And uh, I'm also a principal researcher for processing and value addition at the Institute. Uh, I happen to be the anchor person for the SAD AC uh, gem per boiling dissemination technology in Nigeria. And um, before the coming of uh, the technology, actually, the, the, the processors are using basically rudimentary technologies for rice processing. There is high losses, both in quality and quantity. There is high use of uh, firewood, that means energy dependence very high. There is also gender insensitive uh, of the technology because as you outscale the technology to above 200 kg women cannot be able to use it now when the jumper boiling technology came with the support of sad ac and other partner projects we, we we introduced the technology in nigeria to a specific group of processors mainly in nasarawa benway hub and what what that has done is that after the installation we saw we 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 trained over a thousand women and youth group from about 90 uh, groups in uh, in that uh, region that has improved and revolutionized rice parboiling in that area now before then what they sell for 25 for 20 kg of milled rice is about 4500 naira now we are selling about 7000 which is over 40 percent to 50 percent increase in the price that has also helped the power boilers to have a better quality because when, when you get to the facility now there is a rush that people book for their own meal people ask that i need 10 bucks they cannot even meet up with their the demand this is thanking the side ac project the project also has touched so many other entrepreneurs, more especially in uh, rice-based products. Before now, all we do with broken rice is just to make puddings. Now, with the technology being disseminated by the SADC, they can now process cake, bread, chinching, and instant porridge from rice. Now, this is also a triggering point for uh, entrepreneurs and uh, investors, small-scale investors. Uh, a company has started discussing with us. They have taken up the technology. They have started, they have done the market um, evaluation. All we need to do is to support them to register it with the uh, regulatory agency. If that is done, there will be great changes in the way we use rice in Africa. And I'm sure because of the push we are pushing at the farm level to increase in yield, in no distant day, Africa will be sustainable in rice. Once we reach there, we will still go back to discriminating rice. Our rice-based product will now come up. But before then, we have prepared to meet that bridge and we will cross over it. These are all part of the contribution of the side AC. It has also pushed youth who are heated to not part of the power boiling. All they do is to break firewood or likely push one bag of rice to the other. Now they are the game changers. They are the one involved uh, in rice processing. It is now a clean business. You can wear a, a white cloth to your practice. That was good. That is good for them. They can also prepare their rice and sell it at a better price. This was an attractive force for them. So the, the project has actually made uh, the rice business in Nigeria changing a game, and I'm see I'm sure that in the next few years we will have uh, a total change. As long as this is pushed, for us to push it to other areas that are into rice processing, more especially the rice processing clusters in the country.